Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hifi Tesla, and tonight, welcome to another exciting edition of Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, our heroine has uh, witnessed uh, her dad being murdered, which is not really good news, but she got renewed uh, determination to punch Claudia in her bitch face. So that's basically what we're going to do tonight. We're going to hunt for Claudia. Well, it's going to get a little complicated, but we're going to do it. Yes, we are. Okay, I saved at the motel, so this episode will um, mostly be around the... Uh, uh, what's it called? No, not the central, but the other side of the hill. Um, gosh darn it, I forgot what it's called. Uh, resort town, like the, the tourist area. Yeah, so uh, south... Vale South Park from basically the areas from the second game. It's one of the bad, best uses of uh, one of the best yeah uses of recycling. You know the old the map from the previous game. But I head for the hospital. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just remembering what I'm playing. Let me get a feel for it. A few seconds. This is not. Yeah. <laughs> hey John, what's this, what's the second stream? What's the second stream, John? Hello, fog, my old friend. Oh, this is the fog. Yeah, I think I I just left the game at this stage in on Xbox. Ooh, oh, that's that's fancy. I don't know. I, you're in a tough spot, man. I, <laughs> it's a tough choice. Mm, actually, mm, 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 yeah, it's a tough choice. As much as I don't like, uh, I'm not a fan of what Resident Evil 4 did to the uh, franchise as a whole and survival horror in general. Uh, aside from, you know, fellow streamer support, it's still leagues above some of the games we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree. And this is me saying who's uh, who's Silent Hill 3 is probably the least at the bottom of the fav at the bottom of the list for Silent Hill games yeah you can lynch me after this stream address is at hippie drive uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now where is that yeah I think I don't think that mailbox thing worked I don't know why last time she should have talked about maybe I need different endings for uh, to get other references to Sun Hill 2, because I got the wallet one with the toilet. She turned to the camera and was all like, wink, wink, fourth wall and all. But she didn't do it with the, with the mailbox. Oh, yeah, it's it makes sense because people, of course, it's going to, you know, wait, is this a mailbox? No. 106. You know, what you've seen first. For instance, one of my favorite Zeldas is Link's Awakening. You know, the first Game Boy one. But that's the first one I played, so... Makes sense. It's dear. It's what got me into the series. On the other hand, I played Resident Evil 3 first, but then I like 1 and 2 more. I love them... I, it's like, I love I love all my children equally, but I love this one better. <laughs> But I, I don't know, I love the Spencer Mansion and I love the, the RPD, so as it, you gotta draw a line somewhere, right? I think it's time. She's too naked for this, we're gonna have to put her... Hmm, if I'm smart, not, but you know what, I'm gonna do it. She runs faster without it. I know there's gonna be bitches around here. I can't turn the light on. Thanks, John. Uh, though the frame rate, even the frame rate is better than the <laughs> HD remaster. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not even gonna talk about the fog. It would be unfair. Like that game is, that collection is like a Game Boy port compared to this. Look at this fog. Jesus Christ! How how does this run at like 400, 400, 300 megahertz? Nothing like that. 
Yeah, I don't like this in Silent Hill 3, honestly. I want to go back there where James was. I want to see James's grave on the graveyard. I want to see Walter Sullivan. But yeah, I get it. Space limitations. Who knows? Maybe they would have done something. Oh, every time I want to gag. Like, <laughs> it's like that. Like, like, I don't know. God forbid you've been poisoned by an egg salad sometimes one time in your life. And then for the rest of your life, you will, you will flinch whenever you hear egg salad, let alone smell it. Yeah, <laughs> we could, and then some. I I can't agree more. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, what a miss! And I keep saying, yeah, it's not the developer's fault. They got a faulty basis to build a faulty product on. I just think, who looks? It's just like with Capcom and these unfinished games. Like who looks in that and says, mm, you know what? That's it. It's good to go. <laughs> I mean, at least some of them have the. It's, that's not an excuse, and it's not better. But some of them will at least say, you know what, we'll fix it after release. I mean, Final Fantasy XV is a perfect example. I'm lucky to have gotten it after all the uh, improvements. Oh, yeah, we're doing Japanese now. But that's embarrassing. There should be a dog there, but there should be supplies here. No? Oh, I've been tricked. Rather than a finished product or something that's worth calling a game. Yeah, it's all about like fiscal years. Fuck your fiscal year. I mean, the, the five fiscal years won't save you if your product is just a piece of shit. I don't know why that's such a... But it works, obviously. They're doing more. RE3, if you look at the re reviews for RE3 Remake, it's like... Ooh, top notch, 90%. Uh, just as I remember it as a child. Go see a head doctor. Your memory is bad, man. <laughs> Rosewater Park, there we go. So we know all this. Oh my gosh, she runs like she got dookie in her underwear. You know what? Uh, let's see if they will ignore me in the daylight if I just give him one of these. This is a jerky to avoid the beef. Wait, beef jerky, not me. You should go on eating that. Yep, there we go. He's eating. Now I should be smart enough to ambush him if that's possible in the light but from behind him and just whack him with a katana just because i can i don't have to but oh no cyberpunk I, I... Huh. who's blinder doggy me or you ah that's what i get for fucking with the dog Time is right, bad timing, okay. Maybe if I move again, I'll just survive. That was unnecessary. There was just, there was just no need for this. Ow! Go eat, go eat, good doggy. Good doggy, go eat. Just feed them and leave them alone. There we go. Hopefully both of them are eating. Woo! Okay, that was totally unnecessary, but... You know what? I'm stubborn. I want those points. Have you finished? How long can they gorge on that? What do you think? See, that's fog. I have no idea where I'm going. I was just here and... Ha! <laughs> I already lost. Where the fuck are the dogs? <laughs> now I feel like I'm in a foggy town. That doesn't sound well fed. Why am I doing this? Why? What am I trying to prove? Oh boy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it be. It really be, comrade. Jeez. This is not even playing the game for objectives. I honestly enjoyed this. Just trudging through the fog. Looking around. I think Downpour could have been a good uh, Sun Hill, were it not a buggy mess. Because I actually enjoyed that semi-open world Sun Hill experience. But man, there's there's a quest I could never finish. I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get all the achievements in this game. That's rare. I have enough. I like it. And then I got to the parts that are broken. Uh, I restarted again recently. Then I decided, you know what? I'll just do that on the stream. 
There's nothing here. Yeah, it's just a just a few more months in development. I think they would have made something solid. But no. I don't even know the story of Downpour. I know the was it Corn thing? No, another band. Was it Corn? I think Corn replaced Akira Yamaoka. I mean Akira Yamaoka. God damn it, don't give them the Rs. <laughs> they don't have that letter. Uh I mean the voice. Arr. They have R like us. Like the Slavs. There will be. Yep, that's Pendulum. Fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em. Oh, you, Homecoming is a good game. I don't know what the fuck people want with it. Homecoming is a solid game. I don't like having Pyramid Head there because that's the, he. What the fuck is he doing in Alex's, you know, other world? He's James, but okay, I can over, you know, I can overlook that thing. It's, it's a great game. It's got great endings. Great. The story tricked me. I wasn't tricked for years until I played Homecoming. Yeah, definitely. But other than that, just it was a good game. I unlike in Silent Hill 3 when I'm like, eh, eh. They trick you that he's a soldier, you know, because of his like superior combat abilities. The guy can actually wield a gun. And even though everybody was like, oh, it's combat focused. Yeah, but oh there they are. I hate the pendulums. I can just run past them actually. They're not that scary if you just if you don't look at them and don't let them be scary, they're not scary. See? Just a flying piece of shit. But yeah, I, f I felt like I could fight back way more. Fuck, 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 there's a whole army here. <laughs> Forget the vest, you just need to run. Oh, wow, beautiful. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess it's time to use the good weapons. Now, now that I fucked up this good. And I hear the pendulum. You know what? Maybe I could just outrun them. I think that would be wiser. She doesn't need to go there now. Therefore, she won't go. The pendulums are... Oh my god, whoever in thought of these enemies was... Uh, okay, they're blind in the fog. That's really, really, really good. Are you following me? I'll scream. I will scream. Look at that fog. I have no idea where I, I mean I know because I've played this, but there's gonna be three dogs here. And nothing else, I think. Three dogs and a big box of nothing. That's my belief. Oh god, I know I said it like 10 times already, but look at the fucking fog. I feel my eyes are heavy. It's like it feels. It looks really good on the stream, too. Nice. It's a hit and miss with these analog consoles, but. I'm just going into. Come back. Oh, yeah, I can block. Forget it. Fuck yeah, this is for my satisfaction. Okay, I, I deserve that one. I shouldn't have done that, but I don't know why I'm doing this. I just feel like shooting some doggies. How the fuck do you miss that, Heather? <laughs> that takes some skill, woman. Okay, let's see. Katana versus dog. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Nice! That's what I want to achieve. Fuck yeah! Did you see that? Playing baseball with the dogs. Yeah, this one's dead, I assume? Yeah. 
Okay. And there's gonna be nothing here, right? Kind of remember going here before and being... Oh, I've been tricked. It's broken. Maria's still not here, so... Uh... Literally nothing. <laughs> what a... Yeah, Silent Hill 3 is full of these areas. Like, just give me something. Just throw a hell drink or something. I just risk my neck for this area and you're gonna give me nothing? For three dogs? One of whom I meleeed? Shame on you, game. Shame on you. <sighs> okay. Are we ready? To run at full speed. Showing that we don't fear no bad deed. I think running also attracts them because of the sound. Fuck that noise. Actually don't. I'm stronger than that. I'm faster and stronger and better too. I'm the last member of the SH crew. Oh, that's like... Monkey rap from DK64 adapted to Silent Hill. And people told me I'm crazy. People said he's crazy, but he did it. So is there gonna be some kind of a cock block barricade here? No, not a single supply. Yeah, I should have expected that. That at first, like the beginning of the game, the first bit is gonna be just, uh, here's nothing for you. Are we wasted? Should be able to just sprint past them. Fuck those guys. They can't even see me. If I'm not close enough. So there's no barricade here, you don't have to go through Heaven's Night. Ah, oh, that was... Oh, that was actually a hit. Ah. And he lost me. <laughs> oh, boy. At least the army of evil is blind. Rawr. That's a pendulum. Fuck him. So there might be two dogs in front of Heaven's Knight. And a pendulum. But we're not afraid. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Oh my god, two pendulums. Nobody said anything about two pendulums. Woo, looks like it's aiming at me. Woo, woo. Okay, okay, you can do this, girl. You can do this. All right, okay. This is where we should see the next Sun Hill 2 reference. Let's start exploring the bar. Wherever she's looking at. Oh, over there. Yes. First aid kit and some beef jerky. Then we have a pamphlet I have forgotten it but it's true Silent Hill it was originally a resort town welcome to Silent Hill Silent Hill a quiet little lakeside resort town we're happy to have you take some time off your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here row after row of quaint old houses a gorgeous mountain landscape and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to those pesky late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you up, will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. Because you will be dead. <laughs> That's how it goes. 
I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Woodmark. Well, Roger, as you can, I mean, you, you can certainly lie very good. I, I'll give you that much. Now, show me that poster. Show. There it is. So, I don't know what, what I missed. Actually, I'm going to check now. I'm really interested why I didn't see the mailbox reference. It's a flyer from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria from 8 p.m. on the 27th. So that should be the the Maria uh, upon which James based his hallucination Maria. Uh, fucked up stuff. But yeah, she has black hair apparently. Not blonde. She's not blonde and. Uh, I guess she kind of looks like her. I guess. I'm the wrong person to ask. I couldn't recognize my own mother without a cheat sheet. Like, <laughs> like take out a photo, huh? Hey, mom. <laughs> I knew it was you. No, I was just checking. Just ignore everything. Woo! Wow, that worked. I can't believe that worked. Woo! <laughs> Should be peaceful here for a second to rest my old bones. Okay. To the hospital now. There's a whole army after me. Yeah, two pendulums. I think at least two split heads. Dog heads, whatever they're called. At least I drew them back. Woohoo! I guess. Ah! Woohoo! Okay. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. That could result in a swift death. Nah, I'm good. Even without the thing. Fuck you. Okay, now it becomes a little harder actually there they are I think they already know I'm here oh gosh her pipe is stronger than my pipe yep now it's time for one of these I should shoot them but oh I should be actually good with two yep fuck that save it for home yeah if I equip that, I would be better. Are you stunnable, Lee? Okay, okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> This is like the battle of wits now. Oh god, she has a range, okay? Just gun for that. I should block. Yep. We're not doing that anymore. Even with all this, their pipe is a strong attack. I should have remembered that. So, instead... Sounds like there's another one, but maybe not. James has already taken the map, so we don't have it. But I believe somewhere here it should be. There we go, the map. The memory is good. Brookhaven Hospital. It's the same hospital from Silent Hill 2, yep. There we go, what I spent on them. There are a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. I guess I should leave it all alone. Okay. Nothing interesting on the shelf or scattered on the floor.
just a checkpoint touching them should give us a checkpoint at least that's how it worked in SH2 I still didn't die in SH3 miraculously <laughs> so uh, broken I, I can't vouch if it works the same but we'll find out after the first death so let's go clockwise and just check all the room broken Bear broken. Bear broken. 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 Most of the locks are broken. It's a town with very poor uh, door. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. With very poor door maintenance uh, habit, so uh, all the locks are broken. It's a medical record or something, it's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. So S indicates it's a solitary room for mental patients, I think. Presenting mild, yeah, audiovisual audio hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. I'm trying to lean towards Dr. Harsh's accent. Suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Bloody elevator. Basically calm and cooperative, cooperate, cooperate, blah, blah, cooperative, yeah, that, with a strong sense of justice. However, according to bloody reports, becomes very bloody violent when bloody overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room SO7, usually passive and cowardly, also egoistical. Egotistical? Sometimes shows and acts an obsessive attachment to a particular woman. Oh shit, man. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope it's good call that's lasted that long and not that, not a bad kind of call. I hope. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. I don't have any caution. I left all my caution at home. There's nothing of interest on top of the desk. Not oh, teenagers. Nothing's of interest to you. Memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store hell drinks in here. I got a hell drink. There we go. Oh, excellent. That's that's the best kind of uh, that's the best kind of call, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, and nice. I still haven't tried good tacos, but I believe they exist. I only tried. I think I told you this story, Taco Bell. So that's my memory for. Regarding tacos, I tried also a restaurant made somewhere in London, but I heard they get better. They they get a lot better. So there was a free hell drink in there. You know what? If it ha hath been giveth to uh, meeth, then I shalleth useth at uh, hatheth. There we go. Broken. Also broken. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Texas is really good. Like, aside from the draws, there are a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff down there. But I'm sorry about the recent shit that's been hitting you guys. It's fucky everywhere, and it's not really, um... Uh, it's not really surprising, considering that the obvious non-existing climate change we're causing but also this year we had two volcanoes exploding so uh, we're still having winter here I mean I do live on the mountains right now but it shouldn't be winter even here exactly bravo that's the attitude and fuck your elevator I want to get out I want to get out Touch the door, check the door, touch everything. This door, it works! Ooh, is that the first? Wait, will she comment on it before I read it? That's what I want to know. There must have been kids here too then. Yep, she won't. After you read the first diary, this will change forever. And so many times, I think I only once or twice I remembered to check it beforehand. There must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. 
It really takes me back. Yep. Oh, it's gonna take you back. All right. Take you way back. This. Oh, I gotta give Stanley some really, really creepy voice. <laughs> Overexcited creepy voice. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you. Here, in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been looking for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prize doll. I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Okay, and now she will say, Disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten-foot pole. Yep, it changes her opinion. I love that. So th these are the things I adore. But I think Silent Hill 3 with gameplay just went, was a pinnacle gameplay-wise. I think 2 was story-wise, but gameplay-wise, I think it pinnacle was Silent Hill 3 following that. Yeah, I'm, I'm so like excited from this that I'm going... Blah, blah, blah. But this classic Silent Hill gameplay. Just a flower pot, nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Should that be like Aglophotis reference? And nothing else. Just a Stanley Coleman diary. Oh yeah, I will. I will play them all. All in order, except for the Game Boy Advance one. Because I don't have that one. I would otherwise, even that. Silent Hill 4, I will play on the original Xbox. I bought it for the original Xbox last year, because I heard... Uh, the, so, 2 and 3 are perfectly manageable on the PS2, right? But with 4, you can see they used a lot of dithering. So, all this, like, blackness, it would be checkerboarded on an HD TV. So, I compared them. I, it was really cheap to get the uh, Xbox version of Silent Hill 4. And I compared them. Same component output, same everything. Xbox, the OG Xbox is just like miles ahead. Or leagues ahead, whatever. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! I said fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit, this is gonna warrant a shotgun. Jesus, they're already here. Uh, well, he giveth, he taketh away, and all that. Why am I with ammo? Not really good. I'm gonna have to use something else. Can I remember this be being a little easier, but... Fuck it, I have more health than ammo. I'll risk it. If I could only block on time. Yeah. Swinging the katana is better for them. Normally, yes, outside, yes, totally. I don't know why I was even fighting outside. I was hoping there'd be some uh, supplies. But inside, no. I want to freely explore and it's not that, like, it's not going to be that scary. Sometimes if I'm low on ammo, I'll just do this and sneak past. But I just want to be free, man. I just want to be free. There's going to be two of them here, right? Yep, three of them. Holy shit, I wish I had a grenade. You know what? I'm gonna do something insane. Fuck the shotgun. Yeah, look at that! Like, yeah, I can't believe it's working! Ah, I'm gonna get whacked once at least. That's perfectly okay. Ah, uh, iframes, bitch. You too. Haha! <laughs> Wait, she's dead. She's alive. Not anymore. You all dead? Oh. I think they're the worst nurses in the Silent Hill series. That was not excellent, but what one katana against three nurses, I'm satisfied. Again, nothing here. So if I played this more recently, I would have you know I would memorize where like just the these enemies here are just for points if you want to get the bad ending. Which I shouldn't be able to get in my first run anyway, so I should be okay. Because I want to get the good cano canonical one. 
I mean Silent Hill 3 and Canonical. There's gonna be another one, right? No. Oh, that's good. There we go, another Stanley Diary. She will never comment on that. Uh, I actually... Yeah, I'm trying to see what other people do. So I realized that like... Sexy Wesky and uh, Mammoth and some other people have... Backseating Allowed uh, tag. Which I don't mind personally. Because if I don't agree, I'll just do it differently. At, uh, it's not like you're poking me in the shoulder and going... Hey, do that. Hey, do that. So it's perfectly okay, man. That's how I get better strategies for, for games. Zombie does that all the time. He's the one who kept pestering me to use... Uh, beef jerky which I never used and it works he also pestered me from Sand Hill 1 to walk and like walk and shoot which I didn't do because like even in Outbreak File 2 I needed time to put that in my head because for me like classic Sand Hill Resident Evil shooting and walking don't mix you do one or the other but now look at me <laughs> yep she still one touched let's see the next Stanley Diary I hope my audio is well because it's really hard pos positioning the mic when the headphones are not on my head, actually. The organization has made me shut up now. Has the organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will. To make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane, even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? Oof, oh, don't stick it to the wall, man. Jeez. That would be worthless. Yeah, it would. You can peel it off, can't you? With the junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Oh, nice, thank you. Um... Puzzle? It's, it's normal puzzle level. They're not really rough. A lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Someone was writing a rap song and just like throwing rhymes on the wall. Whoever it was probably used glue. But why do this in the first place? Oh yeah, she's talking about nail polish. Those wenches put on their like use all the time. I think it's this bit is like her memories as Alessa being hospitalized. Because I don't know if Stanley, Stanley Coleman is even real. There's a clue, key, a clue guide. <laughs> a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. Not with a katana. Not with a shotgun. Not with a pipe or the mole. No, it has to be nail polish. I will love these games to the grave, but I will also make fun of them to the grave. Because <laughs> they deserve it. None of them are revived. The lock is still broken. And... uh what about this way? Broken. Doesn't work. That should be all from this side. Let's see. Yep. Can't get into the bathrooms. Can't get into the examination room where uh, where James fought fresh lips. We've been vetoed for pretty much most of the hospital. Well, not most. It's just been shuffled. Different rooms, different... Different rooms accessible from different sides. Okay, that, that katana uh, side swing is mean. I don't remember that. And now, if we can, and I hope we can get to the... No, we can't. Yep, we'll have to walk there. That's going to be awesome. Basement of uh, Brookhaven and... I love basement of Brookhaven and Silent Hill 3. Because of the... You know why, John. <laughs> One of the best... Sound spooks. A lot of them, a lot of the scares in this game are just Silent Hill 1 scares in better graphics, honestly. And I have nothing against that. I mean, Shatter Memories, like this, they already, I get why, they already did it here. So, Shatter Memories, even though people don't like it, that's my second favorite Silent Hill, by the way. Silent Hill 2, then Shatter Memories. It's just, it's an excellent way to not repeat the same thing over and over again. You may not yet yet have realized your own true feelings, but you're sent but you sense them unconsciously. 
And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been would have been good enough, but he had kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Okay, so this puzzle is going to be pretty nah and normal. Book of Lost Memories? Wait, Book of Memories. I know Book of Lost Memories. Uh, Book of Memories. That makes sense. That makes... Uh, that. I'm tired. I've been up for too long. Already over woo, 13 hours and counting. <laughs> oh yeah, I never had the PSP or Vita. I wanted to for a lot of games. But I just... The Serbian standards, man. Like... <laughs> I just I had to pick and choose my my platforms. I do hope to get like to 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 catch them all one day. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Oh, yeah, this is, oh, oh, God, you're right, John. This is like, I, re I remember this being on puzzle level hard was devastating. On normal, it's this, and on easy, it's like up, down, left, right, there you go. So, okay, yeah, I'll have to think about this. Let's think about it together. So, the first is larger than the second. I should use a piece of paper for this. So, first is larger than the second. A second is twice the third. That tells us that third is smaller. So, okay. Smaller than the fourth. So, fourth is half the first. Okay, this is math. I can do this. I just need a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wait, let me try. Let me try. If I'm not done in, love, in a few minutes, enlighten me. But let me try. So, we know that first is bigger than the second. And second is twice the third. And third is smaller than the fourth, which makes fourth half the first. If the first is, uh, okay. Yeah, that's a doozy. I got to look at the numbers as well. I have a keypad here. Wait. So it can be, if it's twice, it has to be even. It has to be an even number. So, that tells us that 4 is an even number. It has to be 2, because all of these had to be dividable. So, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say like this. This guy's going to be end with 2. Fourth is half the first. So, first, no wait, it doesn't have to be 2. Third is the smallest, so third has to be 2, okay. Third is two, we know that. Fourth is half the first, so it has to be, it can be three or six there, three or six. Uh, second is twice the third, if the third, so the second should be four. Oh, it could be different, but I, yep, that it's not the Shakespeare puzzle. That's only in hard diff puzzle difficulty. The first is larger than the second as well, so it can be like pretty much anything. But we know that, hmm. wait, one of them is the first key, right? Four of the numbers are not repeated, three are not in the top row, two are not in the right row. Okay, one is the final key. So one of them is, that tells me one of them is nine, but I don't get that number. Final key. Give me the numbers. So one is nine. So let's say the first one would be 9. That seems like the biggest one. I need to look at the text again. I love these. This is how I like Silent Hill. Mm, maybe even do this while I'm here. I could have died so easily. 
Two of those or one of those? That's good enough. Yeah. So. Huh. Fourth is half the first. Fourth is half the first. This should be. Hmm. I'm gonna say then how something so if fourth is half the first that tells me the first one has to be well uh, let's say if it's eight it could be six and three two yeah that could be true three four well let me try that Ah, it can be two. So two are not in the right and three are not in the top. <laughs> Thank you, John. I kind of think... Mm, I'll try this, but it says two are not in the right. Let's see, right row. It's different than the keyboard. Yeah, it can be three and six. So it has to be... I'm just going to guess... Wait, this is to trick me. I remember this tricked me. So if I do that, that's not going to be the real one. Because 8634, that can be it. Oh, yeah, that's the opposite. Did I click it? Nope. Yep, yep. It's the, the trick is because it says two are not in the right row, you think of the opposite. It's one of those math tasks I like. Yep. I got it. Thank you, John, for trusting in me. All right. All right. Because <laughs> every time I would go, I got it. And then I look at it, there's like six and three are in the right. It said two are not in the right. That's like, no, it said two are not in the right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, John. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I know there are bitches coming this way. Do I want to swing? You know what? I'm the fucking king of the world. I will swing when I want to swing. Oh, I swung at you. X swung. X swung in woman. Oh, she's got a gun. That's not good. That's never good. Get the bitch with a gun first. That was okay. That was okay. Oh god. Yeah, I remember this puzzle giving me a lot of d difficulty on, I think, a uh, hard puzzle level, yeah. I spent, I let my pride <laughs> control me for two whole days until I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted just to get on with the game and I had to look it up online. I was like, that was so good. That was like, that, that really got me. Because on, on harder difficulties it goes like, in five dimensions. Oh yeah, let's check it from this side first. There's a tattoo on his foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. I don't know why he has a British accent, like like Al from Flashback. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Oh, she doesn't even want to look at it. The start time is my key. Oh yeah, in this puzzle. <laughs> She's not gonna comment on tattoo anymore, yep. Something's written on them, but none of them really seem to be important. There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background. Unknown. Name slash age. Unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 achieved discretion. Die late, late, late tonight from blood loss due to severed car carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof 
of corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. La, same room. Have not noti notified police. Why, dumbasses? However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. That's not how it goes in the hospitals. Like, fuck, if it went like that, all the beds would be taken because we didn't check if this person died natural death. I think it doesn't go that way. Nothing's useful. Is there anything behind the structure? No. So it would be cool if this were James, just like collapsed on the hospital floor uh, after realizing what happened with Mary, but we know what's the true ending to that story. Hello, ladies. Beaches need stitches. Touch all the doors. Nurse time? Oh, no nurse time. Ah, Jesus, fuck. Thanks for nothing. Okay, what's the start time? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. So, 2.06. 2 okay. This puzzle is probably unsolvable for the new generation of people. Because they've never seen these clocks. They're going to go like, what the shit is this? Man calendar? Mayan? Man? The attache case is locked. So what would it was be? Zero. Uh, we can go up and down, I think. One, two, zero. You can go up. We got an instant camera. <laughs> Look at my instant camera. Now let's see what Stanley has to say. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Oh wait, there was a tattooed. No, why did why does he lisp now? There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore though. The alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Wait, I should do. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. <laughs> Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can cut it. Open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Colder. I don't know if you were there. I think you were on the phone when I was like, I rarely get to check the first doll before checking the diary because that's when she says something nice about the doll. But as soon as you check the first diary, she will never say anything nice about the dolls. Nothing here. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Yeah, it all connects. Like, if you don't check the tattooed guy, the commentary is going to be different. That's like the, the gameplay, the awareness improvements of Silent Hill 3 I love so much. Oh, we can go even further. Now, now is the... Oh, Pancharellas. Look at this, this one. Stand in line. <laughs> you gotta stand in line, ladies. This is amazing. Fuck the weapons. I can just whack them like this. What's my health? Pretty good, considering I'm just going one-on-one -on -one against nurses. Just chopping them down. <laughs> Step aside, ma'am. Or I want to see your manager. This reminds me, like, this... I've played Sun Hill 3 first, and then I played Outbreak File 2. And I always think this is the, like, flashback hospital. The color scheme is the same, and... The destruction is on the same level. There's nothing else here. What a scam. I'll just have to use what I just earned there. But yeah, points, get more costumes and all that. Broken, okay. That's floor two done. We're still, we're not even in the other world hospital. Fuck. And there's not as nearly as much ammo as there is on, uh, on easy. I know that for a fact. Oh, more of them. I can't see. Come 
come on. What the fuck? How did you... Holy shit. I just took one hit from all of that. The Like the 15 year old me wouldn't believe this. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the red, but I'm alive. Wow, that's that's enough dicking around for today. With the... Uh, with all the health I'm splurging. We can go serious now. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Oh boy. But the ammo is really scarce. I'm, I feel like, yeah, I have definitely have more health than ammo. Am I even... Yeah, I've equipped it, but their hit is just nasty. I have this. Jesus. This is good for some enemies, I, I remember. I can't remember which, though. I know it's like a BFG in Sand Hill 4, though. That and the, and the bottle. What a scam. Took me... Wow, I just find, found it out like a few months ago when I played Sun Hill 4 for Sasha. When I played the Xbox version, I was like, yeah, let's go. Let's just like a meme thing. Let's go get the broken bottle and go with it. I didn't drop that bottle till the end. That and actually when I got the taser, which is kind of a secret weapon in SH4. And I tried that. I was like, shit, this is just like, this is impossibly good. And it's infinite, unlike in Sun Hill 3. It's a fashion magazine. I'm not interested right now. I mean, Jesus, that's like, can't you see I'm busy here? Is the time for the locker? No, that's in the other world. Nail polish remover and perfume. Perfume is, if you want to make your game harder. Yeah, I keep forgetting to turn off the light, actually. I could have done that and they wouldn't notice me. If you want to make the game harder, use the perfume. None of them? How is that even? Let me check. Items. So we have the instant camera. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. And the nail polish remover. This takes off nail polish. I found it in the women's locker room. And yeah, the rest we know. But the perfume, this stuff smells a little strange. So if I equip it, they will know where I am at all times. It's just for points later on with infinite weapons. You don't have to... Instead of them running away from you, they'll just keep see... Really? The stream or... Oh, zombie. Oh, sorry. It's red like John. So I was like... Yeah. Hi, zombie. Good to see you. I hope work is treating you well. I hope you're okay today. Look at that massacre I did with just a katana. Yeah, is this open on this side? Nope. That's gonna be from above. So, uh... So, hey, Dutch. Oh, she won't use it without the light, of course. Wait. I got something. Yep, yeah, nail polish remover, first floor. That's right, that's right. So 3 and B don't work, so we're gonna do those via puzzle. Actually, now when, that I, when I use the nail polish remover... Gotta be uh, careful though, more nurses will respawn on hard difficulties, so... Uh, yeah, it's our zombie. Zombies here. And tomorrow, zombie, I'm stoked because we're doing file one with Jim. The entire game. So uh, let's polish those nails. There we go, a stairway key. I'm sorry to hear that, man. There's, no, there's nothing left here that I can use. Is it like company Wi-Fi? I thought you are using like your 4G or something. Nothing to look there, Heather. There's gonna be more of them now. Yep. But you know what I say? I say, fuck them. This was sucked to the wall in the hospital room. I suddenly have a list. 
The tag says office wing sales. There's no need for the list really, but okay. Now it's time for the basement. Oh yeah. My favorite Sun Hill basement probably. Listen. I'm gonna boost the game's volume for this. Let's say sixty. Should be a lot louder. Yep. Hear that? The key, the angles, the everything, it goes. Pew, 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 pew. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? So we go a little more. The wall is scattered with bullet marks. What the hell could have they have been shooting at? Scarred, actually. The blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. I got a submachine gun. Kinda remember her saying where's the person like or maybe she, now she'll comment on it. I guess they must be in that elevator. Yep. And that angle oh there it is. So if I just kept like this Yeah, I wanted to do that. Damn it, I'll remember for next time. If you're too much on the right, it cuts off earlier. I love that angle. Yeah, it's it's bright if I don't turn on the lights. Yeah, it's the game. It's This is pretty dark. I was looking at the YouTube recordings and it's just like... Yep. That's it. With the component cables and good connection, that's what the game actually looks like. Did I check all of these doors? Very broken. But not broken. I better return the volume, so I put it at... 60, right? If I just do... There we go. Oh, I can undo on, on Streamlabs. That's beautiful. This is the brightest room in the, in the game, probably, zombie. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's sweet. It's all just jungle. I don't think there's anything important here. Take the TV. You can use it as a weapon. There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. But I can't squeeze into there. And there's no way I can move the shelf either. Either? Either? Okay. But, but, we just use this. Four eight ninety one. There were numbers on the back of this. 4891. That's what it was. Ah, she will even comment on it. Your junk. Um You know how I know it's um it's the brightness is okay, zombie, because um, I do the I do the measuring actually on the Elgato and uh also the not this one. The black bars at the bottom and top of the screen when it goes like widescreen pardon me I just oh there we go uh, if they're if they get brighter than the black bar on the right under where you know where my chat and stuff go on the right side of the screen then it's not good but I equal them by I equalize them so that they're like the same levels and I know all of this because uh, <laughs> I actually schooled for to 
I'm actually schooled as a... Oh, it's automatically unlocked. Uh, engineer for audio and video. Uh, audio video engineer. I don't know what it would be called in uh, in English. Yeah, right now actually they renamed it to multimedia engineer for the new kids on the block. So yeah, uh, that thing. And I was lucky enough to attend, like to go to school that I really wanted to go for. I really like media as is obvious. So this is just like I, this is actually the first time I'm applying my uh, anything I've learned in school to you know something meaningful. <laughs> it also I, I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too. I don't know. Sasha says I do that creepily, very creepily. Stanley Coleman. Now, there should be another Silent Hill to reference here. Oh, shit, I forgot about these assholes. Oh, God, they're going to be a pain in this difficulty. Got to kill them, though. I have to. Or the kitties. Wait, I found a submachine gun, but no clips. Oh, I did find clips. Okay. No. What? You know what? I'm gonna shotgun one of the assholes and then kill the other one. Kick him on the ground. Actually, you know what? Fuck that noise. If you wanna finish them, finish them like a man. Oh, that's a double hit. Okay, I forgot it. they can do that. Oh, oh, I wish. I just wish, zombie. I had to do so much work today. I was so stoked to play with John. Uh, I forgot that you were at work. I thought we were all going to be there. But then I realized how much work I left from yesterday. I had to make up for that. You know what? I can still shotgun them. Doofer! Kick him in the balls. Eh! And him. Eh! There we go. That was pretty good, considering it was two closers. Still have 11 and 29, and I actually wanted to do this, to do the the cool reload. It's not that cool. I wish it would do... Heather's Angels. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to Tanaka. So, the second, actually, will I find some, something of Stanley's here? Should have killed himself or something right about. There we go. Submachine gun bullets. Should have killed himself somewhere here. Like, left a goodbye note or something. Somewhere here? No. Yep, but this is the Sun Hill to reference. It's just a normal screen. It doesn't looks it doesn't look like it's about to break and fall. So there's none of this if you don't have the Sun Hill 2 save on your memory card. Not, none of that, none of the Maria poster and none of the toilet uh, fort wall scene. But for some reason I can never get uh, no letter from the dead wife. Actually I said I'm gonna check that. To see why I didn't get it. Maybe I did something wrong. Why not? Kids don't care about the language. That's beautiful. <laughs> Screw you, zombie. <laughs> Zombie's gonna ban it. Like, if he had the power, I swear to God, I'm sure he would ban the game. He would just be like, whoever plays it, like, instant death row. Not even, like, not even beneficial work or anything just fucking throw him on the death row you dare to play resistance you betrayed uh, everything good about resident evil but i'm telling you man it's like if you have a good team uh, mutation and seaward are my usual team <laughs> it's you know with a good team it's fun 
it's different. And I, I know it's different when you just watch. It has It's like two different things, but yeah, I wasn't on the third floor at all. So here we go. I'll track to the first third floor. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I didn't hear anything. That's good. So that's the password for that bit. But let's explore a bit further. There should be a nurse here. In one of these. There's gonna be a nurse in one of these. Oh yeah, there's gonna be this too. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for mortality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in a special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. Wow, that's brutal. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. Yep. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Okay, so that's... That's... Uh. Yeah, zombie, if you had an Xbox, I would... I would personally, like, from start to finish, help you have the best... I think that's the one... Yeah, that's where she was locked. The best RER experience. There we go. I like turned off the light so she doesn't see me. <laughs> so that was Christy, I guess. So that's that's like one of those things that that concerns me. So if she's tripping balls now, Heather, she's in the fog world. That's like the stage between reality and real world and uh, and the uh, other world. Oh, there's Stanley's diary. Flowing freely your ebony hair, like the night sky scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturb my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let things place this place get to me. I should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why don't you accept my full proof of love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. No, I didn't. I played barely three hours. No, that's a lie. Like, my, my whole entire stream was like three-something, and there was... 10 minutes of buffer beforehand, so, yeah. The only thing I played 4 hours was Outbreak with you. That was the longest stream I ever had. Actually, it was 6 hours. Oh, yeah, that's the same thing. Why did I want to check it again? Yes, Stanley, yes, you're crazy. You're fucking crazy. I... That's just a side quest, I guess. I'm going to go up to the roof again. I think it appears only when you've read all of them. After I've read the rest of them, I'm just going to check the roof because I kind of remember him writing he's going to just off himself because Heather doesn't like him. That was good, yeah. I was so fucking tired after that, but like good kind of tired. You know when you're like... A, I did. I changed the world today. I played Outbreak for six hours. I didn't let John sleep. I'm the best. <laughs> He's not commenting on it, but good for a checkpoint. There's a good variety, but nothing I would seed or need. I don't. Oh, look at that! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what about here? Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. I can't remember where's the shift to the other world, and I don't want to trigger it yet. This is where James would have gotten his prizes. Yes, it was, John. Love, it's 10 p.m. Oh, thank you. Does it work now? Oh, now you work. Sure.
Wait, did I check that this floor? No, I did not. I'm sure I did not. Yep, I did not. I didn't, just didn't want to go there. And that stuck person in the elevator, they also don't want to... Okay. Oh god, this... I shut my pants running with the armor. I sometimes I'm tempted to take it off. That's the biggest reason why I like playing easy, easy action, hard puzzle difficulty. Just because it was so goddamn in, insanely hard to just run. I want to run like a person. Now you're running like James and your father. They run like they have something in their underwear. Is he gonna be here now? Kinda remember that a side quest ends with a suicide note, but now I'm not so sure. Like, I'm sure there should be another diary at some point. Did you hear that? That was not Stanley, I hope. Is it here? No. I have a very strong memory of a diary on the rooftop. Fellas, correct me if I'm wrong. I kind of remember that side quest ending with Stanley's suicide note. But is Stanley even real? That's the question. Let's go down there. You watched what in secret? What was the number again? Forty-eight ninety-one. Wow, I my my last memories of this. <laughs> okay, you don't have to finish it. I understand you. I will spare you. Tissue and an alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Okay. Is it going to ring or something? It's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Sand Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Sand Hills Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Hope House, I read Hemp House, for this one, another hour and a half or something. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to comp complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter has re was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs of the in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigation, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seemed unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hop Hope House is Hop House is known by the locals simply as the Oda. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Sun Hill's history, but its worshippers fervent believe that they are among the elite chosen people as a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Scriber, or Schreiber, Scriber. So this is amazing. This is 
Oh, John, I totally, totally understand if you're going to... Wait, pass out? Aren't you going to go... Yeah, you should... You go to work in 10 minus 7. That's... No, 10 plus 7. That's 17. That's 5 a.m. my time. So in good 7 hours. Yeah, you have a good... You could actually get catch a good night's sleep from this. <laughs> Joseph Schreiber is... He's very important in Silent Hill 4, but you don't know that till the end of the game. I'm going to spoil it a bit for people who haven't played, but he's the previous... Uh, he was the previous tenant of the apartment where Henry Townsend, the main guy from Silent Hill 4, the room lives. And he gives a great insight, like a huge story bomb near the end of Silent Hill 4. Which I really love. I already said I really love Silent Hill 4. And this is this is great. I love this kind of... Even if they people say it was developed alongside of each other. But there you have in Silent Hill 2. They mentioned Walter Sullivan. Um, and his death. In Silent Hill 3 it's this article. And it all comes together in Silent Hill 4. Whatever people say about it. I still think it was great. <clears throat> it did to Silent Hill... It did more to Silent Hill 4. Like better... I think that what Resident Evil 4 did for it, it's franchise. But that's my, it's just what I think. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Huh. That's all you're gonna say? Okay. <clears throat> Man, I'm really like, I'm really doing a number on my throat with this. What's going to take me to Otherworld, though? I can't remember. Yeah, zombie, I know. Like, I, I saw that. Sorry, I was reading. Um, <clears throat> uh, I know that... You you said you don't didn't understand what was going on. Uh, yeah. Once you get the objectives, it makes sense. And it's a game, unlike Outbreak, which is made to explore and, you know, do all that. Resistance wasn't. Resistance was made for adults you know when you don't have time to play 40 40 minute matches they're just usually they're 10 their longest one i've had was 30 minutes but that's very rare that's like i've had like two or three of those in in and in, in this year i've been playing uh, m mostly because it's made for you to just learn the there's the last one now we can go to the roof It's made for you to just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I would do that. That's why, first, so I played Chrono Cross, I'm going to just drag the stream here for a second to tell this story. Chrono Cross is my favorite game of all time. Beyond that, I would put, just be behind it, I would put Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy IX, and XII. But Chrono Cross is for me the absolute god. I think it's the most ideal sequel in a way that you think it has nothing to do with the original until the end. It just poof. I love Shala. I love Shala's story. I love the whole Devourer of Time, like how it ties into what happened with the Mammon Machine and Chrono Trigger. That's a whole nother story. Yeah, but <laughs> but it, it it just I played it, so I played it because I had a friend whose dad worked in America and he brought, he had American consoles, he had American SNES, even though he lived here, he doesn't live here anymore, I think. So I played Chrono Cross there in 2011, best summer probably of my life, one of best summers, but probably the best. I, I just spent, I, I, I fucking called in sick at work. To keep playing because I got to the Sea of Time part and I was about to meet my father and all that. I was like, no, that my work is not meaningful enough to miss this. And uh, thank you. <laughs> and I only played it once. And I said, I'll play it in a few years, you know, because I wanted in, a, in some time because I liked it so much. I wanted it to settle. And my friend doesn't live here anymore. We actually lost contact. And Chrono Cross was never released in Europe. So Chrono Cross... Chrono Trigger wasn't, I think, until Steam or Nintendo DS. All the old classic Final Fantasies, all of that I've played on his consoles, and now I can play some of them on Steam, re-released. I don't really like some of the things in 
you know, I wish they kept the original, just just emulate the original FF6 and Chrono Cross, but I'm getting, like Chrono Trigger, I'm getting off the track, but Chrono Cross never got a re-release. So my mission in this year, as I got, uh, <laughs> as I got the, uh, uh, finally got the PAL version of Donkey Kong Country, the PAL version of uh, Resident Evil 2 on the N64, not Country, sorry, Donkey Kong 64, and Resident Evil 2 64 were my like big goals. Then I got Biohazard Outbreak, uh, actual Japanese copies uh, as well, you know, in time all that came. So my next goal is I gotta get a US PS1 or PS2 FAT and Chrono Cross. And it's damn expensive that's gonna be a project, but I will do it. I promise I will do it. I, by next time this year, I have to be a proud owner of Chrono Cross and stream it and read all the dialogue and all the accents they made and then get all like 50 endings for that game. I believe I would go that far. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys. But yeah, the whole like oh no, let's let's keep on with Sun Hill Chrono Cross. Wait, if I start Chrono Cross, that's 3 hours of that. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm just going to get some more water. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to get some water and read so I can, <clears throat> my throat is getting the best of me, so I can read uh, the last of Stanley's uh, Stanley's uh, notes and uh, get on, because I'm talking too much, obviously. Uh, just enjoy, I'm not even going to put, be right back, this is a good image. <laughs> Oh yeah, the scribbles. I always wanted to do that. Like the, old. fortunately, <clears throat> I believe, like in Silent Hill Two, you could. I I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, I think I checked that. It actually says what he says. Let's let's see it. let's see it together now. In my crazy oh the controller in my crazy, Stanley voice. <laughs> Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If I weren't for this, if it weren't for the, his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world, a world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today, Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Yep, that's what it said on the scribbles. You can see that part. The door is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. Well, it's obviously Stanley. Are you paying attention, Heather? You insensitive prick. Okay, before I go on, I'm going to check the roof now. Maybe I just, like, mix that up with the uh, Sun Hill. 
Silent Hill 2, a rooftop note, but the, the I can fly one, which, where was she looking at? Maybe he doesn't exist, that's the thing, that's the, oh, is that doll gone? I think they're all gone now, yep, I think we're here. Is it true or did I make it up? But that ground, it sounds, it sounds like a dad after good meal. Know what I mean? No, I mean, I guess that's not the last of it, but it should be. Am I crazy to think this, John? Do you remember there being the last diary on the rooftop? Zombie, you guys, I know you guys are play these quality guys I, I I know both of you have played this so uh, help me out here I'm going insane maybe it's on the second run because I really remember him being like this is it for me this is it no wait that's the wrong game then use it yeah Sasha and I go randomly around the house It was, there was one somewhere here, yeah. There was one here, but it's gone now. I read it, he was talking about flying, not here, I mean on the rooftop, but this time it wasn't there, right? Yep, it's gone. So after you read that one, I guess it disappears. All right, I could take this off for now, just enjoy the freedom of running until I hear something. I don't know, maybe he doesn't exist because it's Fog World, so nothing is like... not. You can't be sure of anything in Fog, fog World. It's just so fucky. It, it's, you know, knowing that Alessa, as Alessa, she already could... Uh, no, not as Seven. She already could pull in, like, uh, change reality. I wouldn't be surprised. Jesus, she just appeared out of nowhere. Good night or evening or whatever time it is. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, have a nice snap and have a great day of work, my man. Thanks for all the support. And I'm really glad I found a community of people who appreciate these games. And it's been a hell of a week for me. I really appreciate this. I just want you to know. And the rest, the Sexy Wesky Professor and Mammoth and all them guys. See you soon, man. Where was I? Yeah, we're gonna need this, and you know what? We're gonna go, we're gonna go gangsta on her ass. Oh fuck! There's oh, there's another one. Yeah, they just appear out of nowhere. That's three of them. Stanley, Stanley, that's it. Stanley, that's it. I know you do. Okay, now we know that they have they have guns. And uh, guns can kill you pretty fast. Guns don't kill people. Uh-huh. I kill people with guns. Ow. Watch out for the pistolera one. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad, I will admit. That was great. Aim changing me. I'm proud of that one. I'm really proud of that one. Now where's the pistol one? That's Stanley's effect. Yeah, that's what happens. If you try to go forward, you get aft in the B. What do we want to kill her with, zombie, huh? Should we try to just fucking... You know what, I probably shouldn't fuck with the nurse with a gun, but I'm gonna, because she can shoot, I can shoot. Yeah, better, than, better a pistol whip than a pistol shot. There you have it, done. And I probably need a good medkit. 
Jeez, I really spent a lot of those. Took a lot of damage in this run, but it's okay for the first run. For the first run after years. I'm doing pretty good. I expected to die at least twice by this point, so... Uh, Wait, where did they say Leonard was? I want to avoid that one. Yeah, this is Leonard. I should have went there fa last, damn it. Yeah, don't go to the phone yet, that's right. Check the rest of the rooms. Yeah, now we can go there. Okay, there was nothing there. Okay. I think it's time. Stinks like year old sweat. Oh god. Here we go. Time for the other world. Wow, I spent an hour and a half just in this, but yeah. With a lot of talk. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you. Excellent. Hello? I am pleased. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. <laughs> I know. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me. So I'm guessing he's also trapped. I'm not Claudia. He's talking maybe from the other from the other world to her. Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. And he's against Claudia's you? teachings. Mm-hmm. His last name is Wolf. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her... Is all of the order has like hate radar on their butts? Just a sec. Will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? There we go. A zombie, thanks for the question. She is she is better. It's still like the last few months has been ups and downs. But since work has been really intense, as noticeable, and uh and I've been like I got some additional duties. We are like we're definitely I still have to find Leonard. I gotta look for the entrance at the end of the second floor hall. We're gonna have, like, it's not gonna be a problem to take her to that private doctor very soon. And that's really good. So now we go to the second floor. Wasn't it scary how they appeared out of nowhere?
And yeah, zombie, I really appreciate you asking. Zombie was asking for your health, love. Let's do a checkpoint, just to be safe. There's gonna be a whole lot of shit in the way now. Thank you, man. That's really... That's what I'm talking about. Like I told John just now, people with similar values and you know, caring people with same uh, with the same you know taste in video games, which is important. That's that's a very nice circle to be in. That's the second floor. Yep. Yeah, James only goes to the storeroom. You never see the rest. That's right. Wait. We have that. We have done that. You can't go to the garden, which I always like. I want to see the pool and the shower room and the garden. And in both games, you don't get to do that. There's the new door. M something. So the last one was M6. But that's like, what, M7? Welcome to your nightmare. Oh, is this where I'm going to have to run from the thing? Oh, God, it's a good thing I did that checkpoint. If it even works as a checkpoint. Oh, shit. Not memos? This is where I'll have to run for my life. Wait, there's nothing chasing me here? Better keep running, I don't trust them. Yeah, that's where we started. I think this is it. This is where I'll be chased for my life. Yep. Nope. Hmm. Still nothing? Yeah, I think that's later in the amusement park. Or maybe now. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. There we go. It's called child support. <laughs> what the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, I was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room? She did get a little weird though. So she does remember.
What is this shit? Okay, uh, uh, so this is the part I'm gonna remember less of this because I haven't played this in, like I said, in since, since I met Sasha. There's Valtiel. There he is. So his role is to make sure that Heather gives birth to their god. He's there. He's he never attacks her directly. He's there just to turn valves and um, just basically monitor her and sometimes when you die you will see him take like dragging her corpse away which is uh, which represents you know just him he's gonna make reviver or whatever and make sure she gives birth to that god Okay, I know where I am now. Okay. What's with the music? I doubt I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Where is it? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, this sickly red color. Oh god, I remember this. This effect. There's a stretcher sort of half shoved into the room. Maybe it was being carried in. Yeah, whatever it's on top is being brought here, brought in here. Okay. Sounds scary, but it isn't really. Let me see where I am. So I started from, yeah, okay. This is where I'll put this on, because it could be fucky. Wait, I didn't check some of these rooms. I think you just need to look in their direction and it'll mark them as... Three and four look openable. If I can only orient myself. Okay, I'm next to four. Wait, six looks openable too. Okay, there we go. Where is the door even? <laughs> Try to find the door in this mess. Okay. So one of them works. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Handgun bullets, handgun bullets. The hand out, uh, the hand outside the window, and that's it. The hand outside the window. Okay. Everything is so red. I love how how the color palettes of classic Silent Hill games work. That uh, one is all gray. Two, two is all green, and three is all red. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the buckets set out below. Who would do this and for what? Looks like a full-out bloodletting.
I should find some kind of a container for that. I remember I will, but I gotta remember where. Yeah, it is a hung man. Run here. Watch for the holes, they're deadly. On any difficulty but easy, they will be deadly. There be slurpers in this hole. So, uh, I have that. I'm gonna need uh, one of these. Thanks for this trick, zombie. You really saved my life. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, that's the best slurper fight I ever had. Usually they devastate me. So a combination of uh, beef jerky and and flashlight is to go. That's that's the way to go. Just how it is. So the elevator works. I like that. But I'm not gonna use it yet. Oh, there's three B. Oh, three basements. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Is this the room? Yep, that's the that's the mirror room. So this is the room that can kill me. As you can see, it slowly starts doing that, and it starts. It'll all go towards her in the mirror. So I'm not gonna let it kill me, but I can tell you how. It's filling that into that basin in the mirror, right? In the, whatever it is, and it's flowing on the outside now. And it's starting to bloody her. Uh, soon she'll start to take damage. And you can see her getting bloodier in the... So I'm not gonna stay here. The door won't open. Is gonna kill me? Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, it's not gonna kill me yet. It has to stop. Yeah, now I should be able to open. Now it can kill me. There we go. Okay. So after the her image, after her reflection in the mirror freezes, that's when it can kill you. If you stay too long. So don't stay too long there. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to represent her, so the whole fear of mirrors and all that is supposed to represent her aversion to, like, always thinking there's something the other the other side, and uh, also it has something to do with the Lessa, which we'll see fairly soon. Oh, it's all the same floor, yeah, never mind. Okay, it's elevator time. You can also see how her other world looks nothing like James's under other world and Harry's. Well, Harry's was uh, actually because of her. So yeah, they're the most alike. 
But James's is like totally different scenery and imagery even. That the one? Baby? Looks like there's something on the other side of the glass. It kind of looks like a person. But this smoky stuff makes it hard to tell for sure. Okay. Okay. Is this gonna be the happy birthday scene? I think it is. <coughs> yep. This isn't the locker that's ringing. Here we go. I love this. Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Oh golly gee. That's the murderer's name. Not I think he's Stanley. I'm not your beloved no, he's not. Stanley either. He's underground now. His name uh, is number seven. Yeah, I, I get it now. I just remembered that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my I'm not mistaken. Today is your twenty fourth birthday. Make up your mind. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? No. I don't think it's important. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. He's right though, cause uh it's not my birthday. Oh zombie clip that if you can please, like that bit. But if not I'll do it later, it's okay bro. There's nothing coming from the receiver. Well, duh, this phone's not connected. But what about that phone call? There are no cords going in or coming out of this phone. Nothing special in here. Yep, there you have it. Um, he's actually referring to her third life. So he said, like, I know he said 31st and 24th. Those would be, like, because there was a seven-year difference. She lived as... Cheryl for seven years before being reincarnated as Heather again. So she practically did have three birthdays. She just needs to remember. I guess it's time to kill those. Every time someone talks to me, there's some shit happens.
Make sure it's good and bloody. I gotta attract them. Go for the food, come on. There, he's dead now. Okay, they're not so tough to deal with once you do this. You know what, zombie? I'm really, really grateful you... Uh, Got me into walking and shooting and uh, and using the beef jerky because it saved. Yeah, it was different the first time I was here. Look at it now. Whoever it was here before is gone. So is that smoky stuff. Who was that anyway? That's the that's the same smile we've seen before. Yeah, I I already forgot what she said the first time, but it was different, yeah. Oh, it's broken. So nothing on this floor? From this side, yeah, I've seen everything. Oh, there's the the another locker room I haven't checked. Cause I was fighting these assholes. Yep, there we go. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Actually, the more I look at it, the more pitiful it seems. Like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Yeah, it can't do anything to me, right? She won't even name its way. There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. What's the point of this other than, yeah, this? Plastic bag, hell drink. Blood stained white robe hang hung up on the wall. Does it mean anything? I don't know, does all of this mean anything? Like, am I missing something? Let's go use that uh, bag. Back to third floor and then we'll go... Uh, then we'll go first and beyond. So now we can enter here. It could spawn more of a... Uh, more nurses. Was it this door? I think it's this door. Wait. Everything's too bloody for to even see where you are. <laughs> there we go. So it says... Wow, I'm still blue. I can't believe it. Plastic bag, a totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can in the locker room. Put the blood in plastic bag. I got a plastic bag with blood. With blood. Plastic bag with blood. I put the blood from the treatment room in this. I don't especially want to carry it around me. But I'm doing it. Because this is Silent Hill. Turn off the lights because we're going into unknown territory. First floor. God knows what awaits there. Gun nurses are 
terrible. Oh, it's more slurpers. Okay, I can deal with you guys. With more beef jerky. That guy's dead. Okay. This is a lot better. That's a nurse, alright. Could be a pistol one, if my memory is correct. Ah, it's a pipe one. Okay, that's kind of better. Pistol one is still there. Better have her whack me with the pistol than shoot me. So always be up close with her. Alrighty. A lot better. This is all going a lot better than I expected. Locked. Can more freely explore. Broken. Broken, broken, broken. Oh God, I'm gonna provide a free locksmith for this facility. I swear to God. I think you think that uh, you mean the room I was in with the mirror where uh, you can die if you stay too long. I think that's the one. Oh, there's a hole here. And it's not gone now. Okay, good to know. Oh, look at that. Oh. We can't hurt each other, okay? Oh, this is the one that Mary Elizabeth sings on the soundtrack. She will say, there's the one where she recites this one. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, hey? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're the one, you're one of the necessary ones. But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yep, I think that's young Claudia's diary. So we've done that as well. Let's go round and round and check what's in the rest of it. There's cobwebs. Yep, those are cobwebs. That's a pretty nice detail. I couldn't see a lot of this on my old TV. It was like a 12 inch, I don't know, inches are weird for me, but I think it was like a 12 inch 
four by three TV and there's nothing here really what's the point of this room not even a save point it's just there but yeah with the with a sharp setting which is okay with component cables on a flat screen TV it's first it's a lot clearer and second because the screen is bigger I see a lot of details that I couldn't see before Yeah, I seem to remember something on hard mode. I think it was the one where I ran the labyrinth. Maybe that was it? Because I remember that being deadlier than it was here. Handful dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. Oh, there's something here. A memo on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Huh. Checkpoint, checkpoint. What you gonna do? The lock is broken and so are you. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Okay, that's the last one here. So, again, nothing here. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. There's just nothing here. Maybe there's something in this room on the second try. I'm gonna just try. Nope, same old, same old. <clears throat> B1, B2, B3, okay. I see where this is going, game. I see where this is going. Maybe I should have turned on. Oh yeah, it's puzzle time. He said Stanley's number 11, right? She's not even gonna comment on stretchers. Six. Two. What did he say? Stanley's no number 11? You mean... Like how to have, how would someone have heart to speedrun this or are you asking for instructions? Because if it's the first, if it's the former, like how would someone have heart to speedrun this? I agree. What? Is number 11 is that what she said the, so when he called on the phone he said uh, <clears throat> I'm not your Stanley either when he congratulated her happy birthday he said I'm not your Stanley either he's in the ground now he's number 11 I think that's what it said so I'm just wondering which one of these is Stanley 9 5 4 8 Okay, I see the order here. One, two, then we go three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, and the point of this is Did I get the Number, he's number seven, that's what they said. Let's see. Stanley? Stanley? Why didn't you answer, old boy? 
So which have corpses? Seven, five, nine, and zero. Seven, five, nine, zero. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's no going back. God damn it. Seven nine five zero. That was it, right? Seven. Let's try it here. Nine zero. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to look at that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, uh, there it is. There it is. It's simple. So one, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Was that it? Just gotta look at it from the right angle. One, two. Yeah, those are the three. I see where these are. Huh. Oh, that's it. Okay, I see now. It's literally the, the order. Okay, it's simple. One, two, then behind them. So it goes five, nine, seven, zero. That's it. Five, nine, seven, zero. Five. Oh. Five. There we go. Cremated, cremated key. There's nothing in here apart from a few stray ashes. Yeah, zombie, what did you ask when you asked, like, uh, how to speedrun this? Did you mean how to do it? Or did you mean how would, who would have the heart to miss all the good content and story? I got a key. I got a key. I got a key that I found in a crematorium. It's burned black but still usable. I found this in some sort of crematorium. That's it. Underground. It's burned black but still usable. Okay. And where did we not unlock something? I don't have the map of this area. Okay, then get out of that area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but if you memorize the order, you can actually run to it pretty fast. Uh, when I was like, when I was a not busy teenager, I did this for. Uh, oh, thanks for the sub, uh, Moi Sadada. Moi or Moji? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. <laughs> um, 
like I was digging around, so I had a lot of free time, and I would just speed run it, like Sand Hill two and three for fun, uh, the PC versions. And it, when you when you played it recently, and you know what's waiting in which room and which difficulty, it's just it's not that hard. Still, it's you know you really got to be sick of the game. So where was that locked? Let's look for us. Oh, that's the door. That was on the first floor. Yep. That's it. First floor. I don't know. I don't believe you considering how you play Outbreak. It's really hard to believe that. You say that, but then you just do all the objectives while I'm still like... Wait, were we supposed to kill the lion or... Unlock the door, or where's the key again? And like, I just see zombie running with the key. <laughs> Already unlocking. No, not that way. Here we go. You know what? I don't have anything to prove to them, and I have enough bullets. How many bullets you say? 38. Oh, I hate missing this game. That was a weak one. Hey Skylands, nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. You guys make me want to do this more. Oh, shut up, zombie. Shut up. You are like, especially after I ramped up your price with the other streamers. I mean, everybody's just aware that you play. You play amazingly, man. You play, you play better than me, definitely. You found your perfect character, and you know, you just do it. Uh, you do the objectives. I still do, I still don't get my priorities straight, so uh, I die a lot. And the most times I've seen you die is when I say, let's do this stupid thing that I think would be cool to do, and then you go with me and do the thing, and of course it fucks it up, but yeah, you're really good. You're really, I would put you up there at the top, with the top dogs. Which you've come in a very short time span. Sky, I'm great. Thanks for asking. A little tired, but uh, uh, it's going great. Yeah, I should have been a lot further in. But I've been having a lot of fun and just exploring, which is how I like playing these games. I don't like speed running. We just had that... Uh, wait, it's not here. Conversation, like a monologue even. Oh! They should be eating by now. Oh! Eat the food! Okay, this is not going... Why are you not eating the food? Because I'm too close. Oh, there's a nurse with a gun. Oh, I'm being... Oh, God. She's gonna shoot. It's okay. It's okay. You can do it, Heather. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. He's strong. I think it's about the time I check my health. Oh, pretty good. Oh god, how can they do that? Are you serious? Do they heal every time they bite? It makes no sense. There's no one else. Alright. Alright. Oh, you'll, you'll learn it, zombie, in time. It just takes practice. 
just stand somewhere and to the timing the best i can describe it you know when we jump an outbreak and end of the road and you gotta time it you gotta listen for their footsteps actually instead of you know anything that people would logically think uh that's with a knife combo it's just at you press the next for the next hit you press it as he's finishing his swing so it's not the the constant timing especially for the fourth one in file two because it goes tap 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 and then a little delay and then tap for the final one same for the gym's uh melee combo it's all in just watch the animation and listen for the sound they're making actually sound probably helps more maybe just me but that's my advice I'm sure you'll nail it, bro. You just gotta practice with him. Also, you haven't been playing with him much, because I've been hogging him, so that also makes sense. Nobody ate my meat. That's just... Oh. Happy first birthday. Well, make up your mind. Nice person. Which birthday is it? Oh no. Oh, I didn't stun her for Two of them you can do it Heather. Wide swing. That's right girl. Oh that. There we go. Oh that's pretty good considering how many enemies there is here. There's something on the platform. It's too thin to be a person. I don't think I'll go as far as to pull off the sheets and check. What is here? Oh, something on the other side, maybe? <laughs> That's it. You, you, you just graduated the David Plummer School. If you know how to throw wrenches, that's it. You win. There's going to be a slurper there, right? Oh no. Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. Well, it is. It actually is. There we go. So this was worth it. Are these birthday presents? Well, I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Besides, I didn't really need this stuff right now. He wouldn't... If I didn't need this stuff right now, he wouldn't have given it to me. That weirdo, I mean. You hear those sounds? There's gonna be more of them outside, right? Nope, just weird sounds. How's my health, though? I can use more of these, actually. Why not? I have so many. Who is 14? Uh, Alessa was 14 when her mother sacrificed her. Then she lived as Cheryl for another seven years. And then finally she lived as Heather for another 17 years. So that's why he first said 31st birthday on the phone. Because it was uh, Heather plus Cheryl. But with Alessa included... Uh, that's 38, right? Did I miss something? Wait. It was 17... Yeah, it was 21st, I think. Something like that. But yeah, in that order. 14 years as Alessa, uh, 7 years as Cheryl, and then uh, 17 years now as Heather. That sounds like a goddamn closer. Pretty sure there's a person under these rusty red sheets. I think they're dead. I can't bear to check for sure. No, she was just... 
It was the old style clothing, I think. Also, Heather does have a baby face, while Celessa had the tortured face. And it makes sense. I actually wanted to touch on another thing from before, but uh, it makes sense because, remember, Alessa had a terrible mm, life with Dahlia. And we see how it ends. Uh, remember, it, you haven't played Origins. Yeah, it makes more sense in Origins. Sorry, yeah. I know what you mean. I'm I'm going to restart this. So Alessa, when she was burned by her mother, was 14. And you can see her in that state in uh, Silent Hill Origins. But by the time Harry got to Silent Hill, she kept on living in that hospital room in El Camilla. But that was seven years later. So she was 21 by the time uh, you get to Silent Hill 1. So the Alessa you see there as like the phantom or whatever she was 21 she was older than heather now it makes sense i i went and like i proof checked these games again as a something's fallen on the floor it looks like a severed leg oh maybe she had a whole text about it and i skipped damn it i i i like Religiously proofread these games like crazy, so <laughs> not saying that everything I learned is true, but okay, yeah, we're here. We're not gonna do this yet. Let me just check once more. This is the boss. We're gonna have the boss room now. Okay, that's it. We're done with the hospital, uh, actually. And I did it in one session. I thought it would... I was hoping I'd get to the amusement park as well, but this is good. Because that's why I called it the episode uh, uh, Brookhaven Amusement Park. Let's read this. The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. A less so much? This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable, comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols re redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. So girl on girl action upon ass. <laughs> what? Oh god. You mean... Uh, no. <laughs> Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and... Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture or something in the picture? Th these candles didn't light themselves now, did they? Well, it's a shame to let them go to waste. I saw that drawn on the dividing screen at the hospital. It's, but this is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago, somehow. Yeah, I didn't get this bit, but I get it's when Leonard was like, because Claudia put Leonard here so he wouldn't ruin their, uh, her plans. And that's another thing I wanted to mention. So uh, so Leonard was pretty dead set on, on getting, like, on his stopping his daughter. Because it's a terrible thing she wants to do. But when Heather wants to kill her, he will, we'll see now, he will go against her. And that makes perfect sense. Because no matter what your family is like, 99.9%, .9%, even if they're the fucking Satan... If someone threatens someone's family, th those people will defend them. Like, they will defend even the scum of their family, in most cases. And I think it's really, like, it makes sense, you know, it's it's true to what would happen. So, yeah, Alessa on, uh, Alessa on, <laughs> on Heather, if that's what you meant, zombie, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So let's use the blood. It's time. <laughs> Just spill it there. 
Someone else will clean it. Okay, it's time to confront Leonard. Now for him, I'm going to use the shotgun because he can be really fucky in the water and uh, it's really easy to kill him fast. I think, yeah, yeah, on the HD, uh, HD, uh, sorry, HD uh, remaster, I can't ever say that properly. Uh, there's, there are achievements to, uh, there are actually achievements to kill each boss as fast as possible. Which is not that hard, especially if you run on easy. There's no health here, really. I kind of expected health here. No, cheapskate game, and there's no coming back from here. So uh, let's shotgun Leonard. Can also Uzi him, but what the hell? What the hell? This is good actually, ending each stream approximately on one boss. Though I, I really thought that the mall will be one episode and then do Subway in another. And I thought this and Amusement Park will be in, in one. But there you have it. <laughs> yeah. It's another example of now I can finally leave you, Matt. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Ooh. The way he just appears, I'll comment on it later. Salvation of all mankind. Why must we reward even the unbelievers? Uh-huh. Unbeliever. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. <laughs> you never say that to a loony. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! Duh. You're already a fool. Ooh, vibrations on this controller, no. Dude, you need a shave. Oh god, again. Fucking controller turned off. I'm gonna... Oh shit, he slapped me good. If only I just... I, got, I will get that habit. Because of this. I could have gotten... Done this without damage. But there we are. Come here, Leonard. Fuck. God damn it. It was like that with the first boss as well, second boss. But while they're talking. Oh. Mm. 
Now get him with the katana, that's right. Or even better, I want to try this. Just want to try it. Okay, no, that's too slow. Just wait for him to return and then whack. There we go. Torturing Leonard. Here we go. This is a first. Come on, Lenny. I'm killing Lenny without the shotgun. This is a first. Come, Lenny, come. Come here, you little bastard. Okay, that works even better, man. Now I can just shoot you. Like a dog. Ah, oh, how did that miss? Ah, oh, bullshit. Get up. Get the fuck up. Yeah. Is he dead? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yep. That was fairly easy. I'll, I'll be back in his cell, in his sick room. not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? I got a talisman. And with it, oh, you had to ruin my stats game. You had to ruin. I was gonna get it competitively, but now I can't. There we go, nice and blue. Uh, the talisman says has an odd design inscribed on it. I got it after I defeated Leonard. Leonard. So yeah, that's where he was. Is the key back? No. Now I just gotta exit. I don't think there's anything left here for me. Wait, that door? It's locked, right? Yeah. Surely it could <laughs> Vincent. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? They who mock a God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do huh. you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. 
And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. He's got a point. You hated your father, didn't you? And he's smart. He looks like a monster now. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child. Crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. Oh no, no. She's talking about Leonard. You don't understand. Claudia's father. None of you do. Yeah. Yeah. Harry was a sweetheart. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that was my point. How Alessa is tortured, but Heather isn't, because Heather had a better childhood. And back to daylight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. This running is on. There we go. But there's nothing here anyway. I think all the enemies are gone now. I love that you can unlock, if you get a certain number of points or do something, I don't remember, you can unlock the stamina bar, so you can actually see her stamina and plan when to stop to rest when you're being chased. Oh, Lance, you missed, you actually missed two of the, we had two of those Silent Hill 2 references before. We're gonna try to see, so one of them is on the roof. You know where, when, where Pyramid Head uh, pushes James in Silent Hill 2? If you have the, so if you have the memory card when slot 1 with the Silent Hill 2 cleared save. Oh, pendulums. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you can actually check that fence and it'll say something like, yeah, this is never going to fall. It's very sturdy. And another one was here. I think it's still going to be here. So I checked with my old save. And if you go here without, if like if you move your Sun Hill to save to another memory card, this is not here. And that's the exotic dancer that or stripper after which James modeled Maria in his head. Uh, how how the Maria in like the in-game Maria came to be m mixed with his love for Mary and um, and his uh, sexual like what what is it sexual frustration and coming to the to this bar while visiting Mary in the hospital you can kind of zoom in here you can kind of see her she looks a little like Maria, but not the Maria. Yeah, but only if you have a cleared game. No zombie. I this I remember I restarted the uh, the saves for this as well, so we would g see everything from the first time view. So therefore, um, no, uh, everything's reset, and I'm just collecting the points for bonus shit. Oh god, that could have been a lot worse. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. There we go. That went, that could have gone a lot worse. There's the, oh wow, he's still chasing me. I guess it's time to go Super Saiyan. Look, doggy, when I get you, you're going to regret for doing that. You're lucky there are no items here. Blah. The pendulums, yeah, they're just... They're... 
there are five I think so let me just think so there's one in the in the the mall uh, what's called uh, Central Square shopping center so at the beginning when you go to the dark world check one of the toilets on the first floor uh, if you have that save uh, she's gonna do a thing like like she's gonna comment how like who would put their hand in the toilet referencing James and even turn towards the camera like breaking the fourth wall and being nobody saying would do that like she obviously looks at camera the second one I think and I'm gonna check now because I because I said it like five times and I didn't check is the one in her apartment so let me see uh, uh, when you check the mailbox uh, she should say no letter from a dead wife the third one is lady maria and the fourth one is that uh at the, the top of the hospital when you check the grading where uh pyramid cage head pushes james and that is there is there a fifth one let me see la 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 Sound Hill 2 references. It says Douglas Cartland, yeah, says he went to Sound Hill on a missing persons case, which is uh, he probably went to look for James, who in Kanaka Landing just drove the car into the lake. Uh, so we see, yeah, it says non existing letter from a dead wife in Heather's apartment mailbox but i didn't found that one you saw that um poster of maria in heaven's night comment on sturdy fence in brookhaven hospital yeah that's it so i found them all except for the uh yeah i don't know i i don't know maybe that's maybe it wasn't in the pal version that's possible there were regional differences i'm playing the pal version uh european because i live in europe so but usually the European releases were closer to Je original Japanese releases than the American ones. Usually the American ones would get more extensive editing. But I don't know. It's Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, I'm done with you in a second, doggy. Hehehe. <laughs> Rest, you hero. You deserved it. And before I go into the next cutscene with uh, with uh, with Vincent, I think not that I'm gonna put the vest on because next is amusement park. There's gonna be closers, the big guys with big hands. There's gonna be insane cancers. The bigger, like the shorter but bigger guys the the tubby ones and there's gonna be a lot of pendulums and uh, split head dogs so armor is really necessary there he is i think this is the conversation no no it's later it's later the they look like monsters to you one he went out but he left a message for you was there someone else here just now do -de -do -do. Oh, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. He did not say that, but okay. He so did not say that. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm? You're closer than heaven. I think this song is called uh, Clockwork Little Happiness. Thanks. Or Sickness Unto Foolish Death. Do, 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 do. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? No! <laughs> Hell no! 
You're too smart for your own good, Vincent. Are you? Ah, uh, Vincent. So yeah, let's go to the amusement park. We promised an amusement park this episode. By God, we're gonna get an amusement park. But not in this state. Charge on him all. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. This is gonna be really sweet when I get infinite flamethrower or grenade launcher. Uh, grenade launcher? Uzi. Uh, submachine gun. I want to check the bowling alley. The bowling alley. Where am I? I can't see from this fog. Nobody said there would be fog here. I want to complain to your manager. I think what makes the Sun Hill game so scary for me is that the areas are just too big. You don't know what to do or where to go most of the time. Well, at least for me, because I usually take my sweet time to explore the area. Yeah, me too. That's why I do this. Uh. I don't know, depends how you are with maps. I think I'm pretty good with reading the maps, but I just like to come back. I, especially in Silent Hill 3, Heather has many comments will change the second time you check. So that's why I check everything multiple times. Um, and I love to see all that. I, I already said, like, I don't care about speed running. I, I don't see anything and completing the game as fast as possible so just enjoying it if i if there's an objective in game to complete it faster i might go for that for a reward but just like to speed run it feel it's just a shame for me there we go we're here that's the scene from the beginning from the but it's too bad it can actually walk there. I know they didn't program it even in Silent Hill 2. The bridge was out, but it would be... Oh. Yep, the controller is going wild. Oh, burr, 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 burr. Ugh, these effects. The baby is kicking. Oh, it is hell. Yeah. We saw it in Silent Hill 1, and now we see it in Silent Hill 3. And what's most, what I like about this, this is where it starts showing all the save spots that Harry used in Silent Hill 1. And I mentioned that in my Silent Hill 1 stream a few weeks ago. You will find him here, those notepads, and you'll be able to read what he wrote when he saved his game. Because he says, I'll write down my experiences so they would help someone. And you can, yeah, it's been 17 years. That bit's a bit like, okay, but it's Silent Hill. So I totally believe this part, this dimension is stuck, you know, in time. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, there's nothing there anyway. So we're back in the dream area. It's a giant rabbit costume. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? I don't want to look inside. Something in there smells terrible. It's a stuffed animal rabbit. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? Oh, yeah. So that's it. So she changed the comment after the first time. It's a map of the amusement park. But I can't bring this with me. <laughs> yeah. Is there still something inside? There's a dead body inside this box thing. There's nothing interesting here. There's nothing I can do about it, but I wonder who and why did someone... Who and why someone did this? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm getting it. It's still a little weird. And she won't say that again. Look at the lighting effects. That's like the... My biggest gripe with Sun Hill 4 is that the lighting effects just go so subpar after this. But it makes sense in a way, in a story way, because it's supposed to be warped, so. <clears throat> I 
you know what? I'd rather have the, played the old good games than uh, have uh, Silent Hill's version of Reverse. No, thank you. It's okay. I'm okay with them waiting until they have a masterpiece on their hands. Not masterpiece. Masterpiece. Reverse is masterpiece. Toilets are closed. Too bad. It's a popcorn wagon. Nothing very interesting about it. But this popcorn doesn't look right. I don't think I'll be having any. <laughs> SH verse. <laughs> but then again, I wouldn't eat anything else here either. And she won't say that again. So if you accidentally do this, press the action button, then you just like flick the the uh, the stick or any direction, you'll never read that initial comment again. That's a little sad. Watch out for the holes. It's easy to fall into holes on normal, especially on hard. Not to mention extreme modes where I feel that the holes just suck you in. You just don't even approach. They're like, blap, you're dead. Okay, it is time to put that vest on. Shotgun, then finish him in the dark, if preferably. Now, what I want to do is turn off the light and get the katana, that's right. Oh shit, I hate what this. Before he gets up, shoot him a few more times with a pistol, and I should be good. There, the one bullet. That was all that was necessary. There is more of them, and a doggy, I think, so should be careful. I'll lay one uh, beef jerky down. Lay a bit of jerky down, down on the ground. I don't think I even need to kill this guy, he's blind. There we go. It's gonna be a little different than, than uh, the start. Can't believe people actually like our reverse. What a weird <laughs> way for Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that thing, exactly that. That's that's it. Like even even though if it's free for all, I think we would rather like to see like zombified soldiers with guns in some way than Claire versus Jill. It's just no. That's 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 180 of Resident Evil. I, I, they're right. It is. Reverse. It's reverse of everything Resident Evil. So they, they're not wrong. They know what they're doing at least. There's a rabbit stuffed animal here. Bunch of toys are on display. There's nothing unusual here. So the comments didn't change. There are cookies and candies on display. I don't need any of that right now. Should be more supplies here though. Like here. There we go. Beef joiki. It's a rabbit stuffed animal here. Broken. Ah, damn it place like this it's more creepy than it's cute did she say anything else i will never know i accidentally moved the stick sometimes it's a row of shirts i don't need anything here 
I think these are some of the outfits she'll get later, right? Uh, I'm pre pretty sure I've seen a row of shirts with, like, her costumes. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen and still it got me. That's the good horror game. And it opened a save point. That's what I want. Yep. She should comment on this. The sweets seem to have fallen from the shelf and gotten crushed. This wasn't part of my dream. Yep, because that happened doesn't happen in the beginning. Roller coaster key, lifesaver. There's nothing left in the cookie tin. I thought it was a cookie tin, but there was not never anything in it but a key. Okay, we can save here, provided there's no more ammo here, which there isn't. I'm sure on easy difficulty there would be way more ammo here. Before I go anywhere, <laughs> I will just uh, um, check one more time. I'm gonna check in front as well. I don't know if they'll go for the meat though. Yep, that was unavoidable. There we go. He's dead, Jim. I don't regret that, because I want to check if I was right about those items. Like, I remember some supplies being here, actually. But again, that was probably uneasy. What a waste of bullets. I could have just passed it. Oh, well. We'll remember for our hard mode run. Was this the store? Yep. Pretty much. She's not looking anywhere, so that tells me there's nothing else here. Do I need to heal? Yes. Yes, I do need to heal. Very much so. Three nine three. That's good. Could be better, but fuck the pistol. If I'm gonna use anything here. It's gonna be something else. But I'll keep the katana for now. Yep. There's nothing there. That's where I came from. Yep. Good thing closers don't revive, because that would have been a whole other mess. Yeah, that's it. Yep, I can go to the cookie store and uh, and save there. I got to the amusement park. I kept my word. I did lose, waste a lot of time in the hospital, but there was a lot of search. And we got all the references but the uh, one in the apartment, so pretty good. This is like way better run than I expected. Save number three. Wow, I never had th this few saves at this location. So look at that, the stream was like 3 hours 15 minutes and in-game time is only 2 hours. Doesn't count time in the menus or something? But yeah guys, uh, that's it. Wow, it's on, it's 5 to midnight. Jeez, I should really go and eat something. Uh, thank you all for watching. Zombie, thank you for the tremendous support. Skylands, John, even though you're sleeping, we're thinking of you. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Uh, tomorrow we're doing the entire Outbreak File 1. That's going to be fucking awesome. I'm doing the whole gym gameplay. Um day after that we're doing we're just gonna be the schedule is there so this i always update the schedule if there's any changes if i'm canceling the stream anything it's reflected there so whenever you're in doubt just check the schedule on my twitch uh profile uh, page uh, whatever and you'll know everything thank you everyone and uh, i'll see you tomorrow again bye for now
Oh yeah, let's see, actually, before I go, is there someone we can raid? I don't believe, like, I don't think Twitch's count is true, so I should just go to the main page. Oh, is there? Why didn't you say so? Uh, let's see, dashboard. Yeah, there we go. Dashboard. We're gonna raid mutation. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna take you to Mutation's channel now. Say hi to him for me. Just a second. It's coming. <laughs> 